Hey everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artisan Power here, and in today's fun video, I hope to have a very informative video about scroll saw blade clamps, or some people call them scroll saw blade chucks. Last week I posted a YouTube short, it's those short 60 second informative videos you can put up on your channel throughout the week showing off very quickly the scroll saw blade clamps I have and just went over them very very quickly in that video format and at the end I asked if anybody would like a better in-depth and more detailed video on all the scroll saw blade clamps and varieties that I have and maybe around the world and the response was overwhelmingly yes. Now I don't know if I'm the person to bring this video to you all on this kind of platform, I'm just going to give you my my knowledge and show you the blade clamps that I have for my two scroll saws. So let me move the camera closer to the two scroll saws and we'll start going over some blade clamps. And we may as well start with the most common blade clamps and blade chucks for a mid to high end range scroll saw and that is just the basic ones with the thumb screw here. You see that I have installed on my Delta 20 inch scroll saw the amazing Pegasus blade chucks. Cling Spore Woodworking Shop sent these to me to test out and review on video which I have done in the past but really really cool there is one of these on the top and the bottom arm. Now this Pegasus blade chuck replace the stock ones that came with the Delta scroll saw. I believe these are the same style blade chucks that come with a DeWalt 788 scroll saw. But it's just a real simple function to keep you scrolling and you can get in a real nice rhythm when scrolling with this type of blade chuck. You just tighten it down to clamp the blade loosen it, tighten it, loosen it, tighten it during your internal cuts and switching out blades and you can get in a very good rhythm and pattern and everything but really really cool you just never want to over tighten it because you can damage that set screw in here same goes for the Pegasus blade chucks here but Pegasus also has a different set of blade chucks that have a tension lever on it. Now I do not know what scroll saws that would be compatible with, but for the Delta and the DeWalt, the tensioning arm is here to tighten and loosen the blade during internal cuttings and just through your scroll saw work. So it does not need that tension lever here. There is another style, just keep that in mind as we go through the video. I wish I had one to show you guys, but this is the one I have and I love it. And I think a lot of scrollers when they upgrade to this or one with a scroll saw um, that has a quick release, that's what these are called, quick release blade chucks, that they get more enjoyment out of scrolling and then they really get deeper into the hobby doing some more complicated work like fret work and doing some clocks and all things like that. Let me move the camera over to the older Delta 60 inch scroll saw and that is where things will get a little bit tricky with blade clamps and how you go about changing the blade. Over here is my Delta variable speed 16 inch scroll saw that my grandfather bought me and this is the one I started the YouTube channel with making projects on it and you guys know I've made a ton of sawdust on this. It still works. I just had the money to upgrade to its bigger brother over here the 20 inch Delta scroll saw and I love both of them and I keep this one well cared for and maintained. But here are the several types of blade chucks for this scroll saw and keep in mind if you have a lower to very low end scroll saw you may have to end up using pin blades like this one here this is what I started out with and you can make some decent work with it you're just not going to be doing no fine fret work because of the required pilot hole for the pin to go through there and this scroll saw does not accept pin blades I just wanted to show you guys this pin blade now the upper blade chuck that came with this scroll saw is very tedious to change blades. You see it here, I'm going to remove it. It is very bare bones, it's just a basic solid steel construction with a plate here that tightens down and you can see it's kind of warped with age and just constant ch blade changes and everything. But it takes an allen key bolt here to tighten and loosen it and this bolt will eventually just wear out and you'll have to keep buying replacements. I finally went out and bought a box of a hundred of the little hex screws there because they wore out. I went through like one a week when I was really really scrolling with this scroll saw but I'm going to show you how you went about a blade change with this like say you've took the tension off the scroll saw blade here and the blade is loose you have to use this pistol grip like tool here and you have to thread it into the top arm and pop the bolt loose drop the scroll saw blade out do your next internal cut, put it back in, tighten it, and then retension it. I can see where a lot of people would lose enjoyment in scroll sawing really, really quickly if they had to go through this. So what came out was the Delta quick release blade clamp, and you see that here. That is what I had on this after the fact. And 
I just took it out and replaced it. Now keep in mind this is still the blade chuck that is underneath on the bottom arm for this scroll saw. They never released a quick release for this type of scroll saw and when I tried to put this one on the bottom side it would hit the underside of the table just the stroke of the scroll saw going up and down. It would constantly hit the bottom of it so there was no way you were stuck with using this one and the little pistol tool and again I was wearing out the Allen keys but when this one came out it was such a game changer you see there it's got kind of like a spring mechanism to where it will open and close to hold the blade and it goes in the same way like this and this saved a lot of time and I really started doing some finer scroll saw work when I got this and then this the eventually the stock still bolt that was in it broke on me while I was scrolling it really scared me when that happened of course I was a lot younger when it happened so I just started replacing it with just a little eighth inch bolt here and this also wears out over time I don't know if I've got one over here no I don't but the bolt would always bend and I'd have to pop this out and put a new one in again it just wore out over time and then I finally before upgrading this scroll saw I upgraded to this blade chuck and this was one of my original YouTube videos and I modified it as you can see the factory still there is ground down to a nice shiny silver and I done that so it would fit in the slot here to go and accept into the Delta because this is not a Delta blade chuck this is actually a Craftsman upper blade chuck for a Craftsman scroll saw I've never seen it on the market since I bought two of them off of Amazon so for people that keep asking me where I can find one now I have no clue and I do apologize for that but this just made everything so much quicker and made it really like a mid-range to high-end scroll saw with their type of blade chucks but it was just so easy to get in a rhythm the only downside to this was I lost about a quarter inch of my scroll saw blade because of how far down this blade chuck hangs you can see it here how far down it hangs as opposed to a stock or factory blade for a delta thing so the only thing I had to do was just cut off the top of the scroll saw blade I lost about a quarter inch of it but then I could just put it in tighten it down put the tension on and I was ready to rock and roll and I really have enjoyed this blade chuck and I was so happy when I did upgrade it and again this scroll saw here still runs and still works perfectly I just had the funds to upgrade to the 20 inch at the time and what is a special feature about this blade chuck is it can actually accept pin blades as well so if you want to bounce back and forth between them but I really think if you have a scroll saw with a quick release type blade clamp you will have a lot more enjoyment I think a lot of people get bent out especially if you've got one where the tension is always up here on the back and you really gotta tighten it down or crank down on it to get your tension set up and you gotta to use tools like the pistol grip here to take everything apart just to change a blade again the 20 inch scroll saw is the way to go if you're going to get into scroll sawing I would highly encourage you to go to someone that has a mid to high end range scroll saw and try to use one of those before buying maybe a say a cheaper Harbor Freight or Win or Ryobi scroll saw I have seen people make great things with those lower end scroll saws I can just see where it would end up being cumbersome and frustrating and you could get burnt out on the hobby real quick let me move the camera one more time and we'll close the video and that is my general knowledge of scroll saw blade clamps or blade chucks if you prefer to call them that that is all I know in my experience with the different varieties of them again I really think if you're wanting to get into the scroll saw hobby find a scroll saw or someone that has a scroll saw with a quick release on it so you can see what kind of a joy scroll sawing can be I'm to the point now where if I'm doing a project I can zone out and listen to my music and think about other things I do some of my best thinking at my scroll saw when I'm creating beautiful works of wooden art over here but really really cool I have seen the Delta 16 inch scroll saw that we really focused on in this video at pawn shops in my area in North Carolina for around sixty to seventy five dollars I'm sure you can haggle with the store owners and maybe get it for fifty bucks the only chronic issue I've seen with that scroll saw is it does not have the blade change tool that looks like the little pistol grip here that I showed you that helps you assist with breaking the allen bolt loose to change for internal blade cutting 
I have seen people, and I was never able to successfully do it, I have seen people modify the stock blade clamp here, take the Allen bolt out, and put an actual thumb screw in it. I was just never able to find one that matched up to the thread count of the little block there that holds the scroll saw blade in. Maybe if you guys would like to try that, if you've got one of that. Again, I really think a thumb screw is the way to go when scrolling and it is so relaxing and I was so happy when I was able to find this blade clamp on Amazon and be able to modify it to fit my Delta scroll saw. Again, I made a video on modifying this and it's probably one of my most viewed videos I guess because so many people are wanting to do it and so many people comment asking me to update the Amazon link where I've got this and the reason I have it is because I just can't find it. I've looked at eBay, I've looked at secondhand tool stores, I've asked other tool companies about their blade clamps. I've even contacted Craftsman because this is a Craftsman blade clamp and no one can find it in stock anywhere so I do apologize for that but that is what this is. It is a Craftsman upper blade clamp for their versions of the scroll saw that I simply modified for my purposes. I hope you've all enjoyed this video and especially this special Wednesday video. I know I don't normally do woodworking type videos on Wednesday. That's for my other interests. But I really wanted to do this video and not have it as a main Monday series YouTube video. But anyway, if you guys are new here, please subscribe to the channel and also follow me over on Instagram. I'd really appreciate the support. And as always, links to all my social medias as well as ways to contact me will always be linked down in the description box below these videos. That's about all for this one. And remember guys, if I can make it or do it, so can you. I hope you all get out in your workshops and make some sawdust on your scroll saws. I'm the Artisan Pirate. Take care and I'll see you guys real soon.